Hello everyone, and welcome to Clive Barker's Undying. Um, this is my Halloween special, I guess you can call it. Um, I originally had Amnesia planned because I thought that game would be a lot of fun, seeing as how I'm terrible at survival horror games. Um, but unfortunately, it did not cooperate well with Fraps, and I'm guessing it's because my processor is ancient. I have a uh, AMD 64-3800 Plus, which is a single-core processor. I'm sure some of you are probably, you know, retrieving your jaws from the floor because who has a single core nowadays? But um, yeah, that's what I've got, and so I tried recording Amnesia, and it just, no matter what I did, it didn't come out right, and I figured rather than having something that looks terrible, sound terrible, it just kind of looked terrible, but you know, instead of having something that wasn't enjoyable to watch, I figured I'd do something that I knew for a fact I could run, I could run without problems, and I dug through all my old computer games and found this, so we shall give it a shot. Um, also, Amnesia is on sale on Steam for $4, that's why I picked it up. Oh, cutscene, skipping, cutscene, uh, nope. I'm Okay. So, yes, welcome to Clive Barker's Undying. It is a uh, first-person shooter slash survival horror type game. Um, we are playing as Patrick, who was introduced in the, uh, the intro there. Um, if you want to know what the intro goes over, or, you know, if you want to watch the intro, I do have it posted separately. Um, just because at first when I was recording this, I could just skip it and it would take me right to the game, but for some reason it didn't let me do that this time. Um, so if you want to watch the intro, go ahead and watch the intro the other video, and then come back to this one. Um, but yes, we're here to visit our friend from the war. You're Jeremiah's old war buddy, right? Indeed. And that's that conversation, apparently. Okay. So why can I not attack? Uh, changed the controls on me a bit. But yes, um, uh, not this again. I know that seems cruel, but they can be really obnoxious. Um, you're not gonna attack me, are you? Okay, good. Yeah, if you attack them with the gels of our stone, they will attack you back, which is really annoying. Anyways, um, you'll see that the stone is glowing. Uh, basically what this means is we can use our only spell at the moment, Scry, um, to pick up residual spiritual energy. Basically, it lets us look into the past and see what happened. In this case, some dude hung himself. So yeah, let's uh, let's head inside. I'm Patrick Galloway, a friend of Jeremiah's. Sorry it took me so long to get here. His letter said it was most urgent. Jeremiah is beginning to think that the letter never arrived in your hands. He's been quite anxious to see you. We've all been quite worried. Jeremiah is now bedridden. Follow me and I'll show you to his living quarters. I apologize for the look of the house, but there's only a skeleton crew of servants now. Jeremiah let go of everyone else, and the house is much too large for us to clean. Because we've lost electricity to most parts of the house, we can only maintain the living quarters. This family's had so much tragedy. I hope you can help him. Nope. Totally not what we're here to do. Totally not what we're here to do. You might recall Patrick even said in the, uh, the intro it might be the death of him. So let's just, you know... Goodbye, Jerem. 
Jeremiah, Jerema, whatever the hell your name is. Won't budge. Or not. Oh. Hey, who are you? That boy ain't right. Well then, um, let's just go ahead and, uh, grab this pack over here. Stuck. And not go through that door. Won't budge. Not go through that door. I guess we gotta go through this one. This really does not look that inviting. Oh, and yeah, that's the other thing you can use Scry for. It kind of works as a, uh, a night vision as well. But apparently it's not gonna work here. Patrick, you made it. At your service, Jeremiah. Sorry for the delay, but I've been abroad. What happened to you? It seems I've come under the watchful eye of the Reaper, my friend. It's been a long time, hasn't it? Apparently too long. Patrick, I came back from the war only to find my entire estate in disarray. My brother Aaron disappeared first, and then my sister Bethany. My declining health is a result of an old war wound, and unfortunately, the symptoms are irreversible. I didn't summon you here to watch me die. I need your help. Anything I can do. Just name it. Strange events began happening around the manor. After thinning out my staff, they ransacked my estate, taking whatever they could carry. The rest of the help was quick to follow, as they feared rumors of my family's curse. I can't help I like but think it's more than a coincidence eyebrow. that strange happenings have increased since I've been back from the war. I want to get to the bottom of this, but I'm just too weak to investigate it myself. I'm relying on you to step in for me. Of course, Jeremiah. The only reason I risk coming back here is to assist you however I can. My thanks to you, Patrick. What the hell is that? Sounds like it came from downstairs. I'll check it out. Lock the door behind me. I always found that part kind of comical because he has like massive Jet Force Gemini hands, and yet he's trying to cover his mouth of his or his face as if he's frightened. It's like it doesn't work that well with your Jet Force Gemini hands. It's that guy again. You are floating. But you're floating. I'll stab you in the face. In the face. I do not like that noise. So I'm guessing those are locked. That's open, but is there anything back here? See here, you can kind of see the uh, the night vision, kind of, sort of, not really in action. Can be very useful at times. Also, there's a, uh, a funny glitch you can do in here. I believe it is. We'll wait for Scry to wear off, though. Is it in here? I think it's in here. Yeah, it's in here. Because you see him up in the corner there. If you can you describe come in here, what you can only see? As the bonds of flesh are broken, the world becomes apparent. <laughs> Just gotta stand directly underneath him, and he will spaz out like that. <laughs> Found it rather comical. Anyways, um. Uh, yeah, here's another good example of Scry being kind of a night vision. Ooh, another health pack. I'm just gonna switch to our health packs real quick. Just because, knowing my luck, I'm going to...
going to get brutally murdered. Hey, hey. None of that. I don't like how that sounded. subtitles in later episodes, um, definitely let me know, because I will put them in there if you guys want them, but if you don't need them, or you don't think the video would benefit from them at all, then I'm just, I'm not gonna worry. So, it's up to you guys. It may make, uh, the processing time a bit longer, because it took me an hour and a half. Oh, shut up, you. It took about an hour and a half, two hours to finish that uh, that two minute video. So, we'll see. What's in here? The man with the Gemini hand. Those beasts so, were after me. What in God's name were those things? They're called howlers. And while I've never seen one before tonight, I've heard of them for years. Those weren't natural, my friend. We're fighting more than superstitions here. Perhaps I was being naive not to tell you, but there might be something more sinister at work here. When I was a boy, I encountered something I can't quite explain. You see, there was this isle of standing stones that sits just off the estate. Someone had carved a sigil into each of the stones. Something indiscernible. Father had many books on the occult, one of which contained a sketch of that very symbol. I took my brothers and sisters out to the island and read from my father's book. Well, what happened? Something answered. The ocean began to boil, and a great wind whipped against us as we stood in the circle, and my siblings huddled to the ground in fear. Eventually, the wind died, and the sea settled. Patrick, I know it sounds like the ravings of a dying man, but <laughs> I believe those standing stones had something to do with this. What has once been a taint upon this family has now begun to manifest itself. But you told me you're dying. Doesn't this curse end with you? Who knows? My brothers and sisters are dead, but I don't think they're really gone. I've heard some servants whispering. They think they've seen Lisbeth on the estate. My family has come for me. I sense them, Patrick. By now, you and I know the supernatural exists. You saw the Howlers. And what about our encounters with the Tersante during the war? You still even carry the Gelzebar stone with you. It's a token of the Shemans' life I took. That's all. I found a scroll with a picture of the Gelzebar on it. I believe it contains the way to awaken the stone's dormant power. Very well. Let me study this scroll overnight, and I'll see what I can do in the morning. This house still hides many secrets. I'm counting on you to reveal them, and put an end to this mess. Yep. 
So we got a, uh, a scroll, which, uh, one thing I will note, I might have pointed this out earlier, but for some reason in the widescreen resolution, um, the top line of the journal is cut off. So I'm not going to be reading the journals much. Um, if you guys want to, I suggest you, uh, you know, play the game. That way you can get fully immersed in the story. Because I've played most of this before. Um, it's been several years, though, because I bought this as part of a, uh, a horror collection pack. The game with this, um, a couple of Dracula games, it came with the original uh, American Mickey's Alice, and it came with Dungeon Keeper. And you actually can't buy this pack anymore. Um, as far as I know. So, it was a good deal at the time, though. Also, Patrick, he doesn't need to read scrolls. He can just pick them up. He absorbs their words through his hands. But yes, now we have ectoplasm. <laughs> it's kind of like a, uh, a magic missile. And you will see me using it a lot. Have you noticed anything strange going on? Apparently, Elizabeth's room was broken into last night during the commotion. Where's her room? Just down the hall from here. It's quite a mess. I sound like I'm the one that did it. <laughs> um, anyways, follow this dude. so much faster than him. Another cutscene. Tell me what you know about Lisbeth. Why, she was a fetching young lass. Quite the fiery temper, though. She could be placid and calm one minute, and then suddenly she's spitting curses and swinging her nails at you like an animal. Tis a pity her mother died birth and like an like a mammoth. Indeed. Following her mother's death, I'd raise Lisbeth like my own. In the end, her wasting sickness got her. I'd cared for her when she was sick and watched her wither away to nothing. Pity a young woman has to die in the spring of her life. Uh, now she rests with her poor mother at the family mausoleum. The groundskeeper claims to have seen her recently. <laughs> poor man, seeing a ghost is never a good omen. Where can I find this groundskeeper? He's out in the gardens. You can get there through the kitchen. Your knowledge is appreciated. Thank you. So yes, apparently Lisbeth, uh, one of uh, Jeremiah's siblings, is dead and her mother died at, uh, when giving birth to her. I think it's funny how the maid too is like, you know, Lisbeth was kind of a bitch, but then she died, so I guess it's okay. This house needs a priest. Oh yeah, and that's one thing to know. Um, anytime the Gelzabar stone glows, or the Gelzabar, I forget how Jeremiah said it in the cutscene. Anytime it's glowing like this, that means you can use Scry. And if you do, <laughs> freaky shit like that happens. Also, you can leave Scry, oh god. You can leave Scry activated and switch to uh, Echoplasm. Ectoplasm. Which one thing I will say is, um, when I was recording this before, I turned around and saw the maid standing there and she scared me so badly that I shot her. <laughs> and if you kill NPCs, friendly NPCs in the game, um, it takes you back to the last checkpoint. So I'm kind of sad that I wasn't recording because I thought that was actually pretty funny. I think you guys would have enjoyed hearing me kind of scream in terror and then seeing me shooting her in the face. <laughs> but, oh well. Let's go over here. Whoa. Or not. Help me! No. Oh, 
Also, if you didn't notice, the uh, Gels Bar Stone basically pushes enemies back. You can also push their corpses if you're into that. Um, but this is mainly the combination I use at the beginning here. It's a uh, ectoplasm and the Gels Bar Stone. Because then you rarely get hit. Which I like. Oh no, you're bleeding. You're bleeding. Where are you bleeding from? Drops are just magically appearing in your wrist, but you're holding your arm. I don't care. Go to hell. Also, he screams help me, but there's nothing you can do to help him. You kind of just have to leave him there. So, don't feel too bad. Bloody howlers. Hey, 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 hey. That's the only thing about ectoplasm. It's kind of uh, annoying at first. Is uh, It doesn't do as much damage as guns do. Um... It's also f slightly inaccurate. Also, these guys, no, they haven't spawned yet. So there's something in here we can scry. And, oh, wow. That's, uh, that's kind of gross. There's the... Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hey, no, no. Hey, hey, hey. Shit, yeah, I'm in there. Shit. No! Patrick, get through the door, damn it. But yeah, ectoplasm, unfortunately, is a little inaccurate. Um, so it can be kind of difficult to kill stuff. Yeah, sometimes the gels bar stone doesn't work. I don't know why. Also, did I ever say that I'm really bad at FPS games? I'm really bad at FPS games. Stop. I guess that's okay, because we have three more health kits. It's uh, more than I thought we had. Okay, now is there something over here? Because I hear howling. Goodness, there's a lot of them right here. Screw you, jerk. Oh, there's a key. A servant key. That will definitely come in handy. Stop. However... We need to go... Jammed. Ha! Over here. Which I know over here there's something creepy. So let's go over here first. We have now seen two of them. We have seen what's his face and what's her face. I honestly don't remember the first guy's name. That's him giggling, though. He's rather annoying. Because he giggles constantly like that. 
Jammed. Jammed. Stock. Peanut butter in. Jammed. I know that was a bad joke, but I think that every time he says that. Eh, we got a few minutes left here. Let's move on to the next area. see if there was uh, anything else we could find first. Ooh, another health pack. Stock. There's those fish. Those are fish. And a knife. Wish we could take the knife. That would be cool. Stab some hours. Is that the door to the gardens? Yes, it is. However, I don't have the key. I lent it to the maid. I believe she is cleaning Air Kaisinger's room today. It's located in the east wing of the house. Thanks. I appreciate your help. Not that way. Also, didn't some howlers smack me? Now we gotta make our way back to the east wing. Ooh, it's Mr. Creepy Man. Do you have anything interesting to say, Mr. Where Creepy? is it? I know it is around here someplace. It's not a very effective way of looking for books. Here it is. What are you doing up there? Don't make me shoot you. By you, I mean the book that was strangely levitating for some reason. Um. I shall you real good. The great hall of paintings. There is the truth. The image becomes reality. He will rise again. The ritual continues through our blood. Oh, I just now noticed that one. 
That's kind of grotesque. Aha! Uh -huh. So this is the east wing. I wasn't sure if it was or not. Creepy Mick Creeperson. Go over here first, though. Bethany often used this room as her office after Jeremiah left for the war. Okay. Also, more creepiness. <laughs> well, that actually looks just silly. There's the creepiness. But anyways, timer went off, so it is time to call it good here. Um, next time we shall continue exploring more of the mansion, so until then... Lovely day, isn't it? Shut up! <laughs>